Hey everybody, it's me, Laura, and I know that I've covered all of the different soul types. Why do I care so much about this topic? It's because I want people to be able to discover their origins so that they can go to have a more complete understanding about who they are and why they think and feel the way that they do. But I've covered a lot of the different traits and soul types, but now I want to go into something just a little bit different. And this is going to be a little bit more out there, and I know that there will be many people who disagree, but that's fine. Everybody's entitled to their own truth and their own beliefs, so um, there's no need to put anybody down. But let's move on, and maybe there will be some of you who are soul-seeking, and this information resonates with you. It very well could. So the first topic that I want to touch base with you on is incarnated mermaids. Yes, they did exist. They existed in the days of Lemuria and Atlantis, and there were some very powerful beings back in those times that kind of endangered them, and then the mermaids and mermen went to kind of cease to exist. But the souls had to go somewhere, and, you know, they really did um, envy people because people were able to walk the shores and be a part of a society that had nature in every single aspect rather than just in the sea or in the rivers and lakes. So they wanted to become human. They wanted to be able to walk on one legs and experience the world around them. And that's exactly why they came to be incarnated in the human body. Some of the traits of the incarnated mermaid will be just being able to heal themselves emotionally and mentally when around water or the sounds of water and they'll be very empathic um incarnated mermaid souls are so empathic more so than a lot of the other soul types they just pick up on everything they can feel the emotions and the thoughts of people around them and also they have the ability to just think about somebody and connect to them you know if you've had um, a lover in your past and thought of them and then they call right away that's because you attracted them to do that um, mermaids have the power to do such a thing and mermaids are very beautiful in appearance they've brought that beauty from their soul into their physical appearance you'll notice that they're very beautiful women and also they like to be vibrant in their appearance so you'll see them with like a very exotic hair color and exotic hair pieces and accessories in their hair and they just love to be the most beautiful in the room and it's not out of vanity it's just because it gives them a sense of feeling good inside they also have no sense of time whatsoever um, some of the clients that I've worked with um, that are incarnated mermaids they just seem like they have no track of time sometimes they don't know what day or what month it is and that's because in the sea there is no um, time at all especially in the dimension that the mermaids are in now they don't feel time and they are very alluring and very seductive and they have a look in their eyes that will make any man go crazy and the myth is that mermaids have a very beautiful singing voice but this is an actual fact they do and they bring that voice with them because this is their tool in healing others to sing to use that vibration of their voice and sound to make others feel better and usually they'll be very mysterious um, on the surface but when you get to know them they're very open and they seem very positive and they're always on the go and wanting to do new things very spontaneous wanting to have a good time so they often will feel a connection to the nature outside even though they are more of a water element and that's because of that longing that they had to be a part of all of nature and now that they finally have they feel very connected to it and very much love towards it mermaids are now a form of elemental um but this is what i want to go into some more is that 
you can be a combination of things. It doesn't have to be just one or the other. And I've tried to explain this several times to many of my different clients and some of you who have written in to me to ask me questions like that. And I want to put it on YouTube now and explain to you all. Listen, you could be a mer angel um, because once you cross over into the spirit realm, if you have done something so divine and so goodwilled, um, you could very well become a messenger, an angel. Also, you could have been a fairy and then become a mermaid. And you kind of have those fairy elven um, traits mixed in with the mermaid traits. You could have been an angel and a star seed. It just depends on where your soul has taken the journey. So it's kind of like a hybrid soul um, of many different soul types. And that's why a lot of people are still very much confused as to who they are. They resonate with the angelic traits and the mermaid traits, but they don't know that they could have been both at some point in time. The soul doesn't stay the same as you grow and as you learn, you start to change. You get to change positions and roles throughout this universe. It's not limited to one thing. For some people it is. Yes, some souls go on to exist as the same thing, learning different lessons. But a lot of souls, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of souls will switch roles and switch positions and get to be different things. So if you resonate with one thing and then you resonate with another, it could be that you're a hybrided soul. Um, so it, really the only way to know is to actually have your Akashic Records read and to find out exactly where did your soul originate and what has it learned and transformed into over time. That's how you get your definite answer instead of you know just continuously guessing and being confused. Being confused is a negative feeling. Having that all knowing about yourself leads to ascension and um, enlightenment. And that's exactly where I would love for you all to be. So I know that there will be somebody that needs to hear this video and needs to know that they're not crazy. So I hope this video helped you, whoever you are. And I wish you all love and light as always. And I'll see you guys next time.